Technical coaches help software developers and their teams to adopt better coding practices. Things like test-driven development, safe refactoring, using design patterns effectively. This technical coaching is the best way I know of for an organization to improve developer skills and raise code quality and adopt modern software engineering practices. Technical coaching is also a fun and rewarding way to work. And if you're a developer looking at your next career steps, this could be a good option. In this video, I'm going to explain how I started working as a technical coach and how you could perhaps too. Hi, I'm Emily Bache. I'm a software developer and creator of Saman Coaching. Welcome to my channel. I'm a technical coach, which means I work with software developers and I help them to improve the way code gets written. Of course, I'm also on YouTube, but that's only a small part of my job. I consider myself mainly a software developer and technical coach. Although I don't directly write production code or tests anymore, my contribution to a software development organization is to level up teams and individuals through facilitating, mentoring, and teaching. I think it's a great job. I spend my days working with a variety of developers in different situations. Some of the time I sit with them coding on their production code. I also get to introduce key programming skills like test-driven development and refactoring and object-oriented design. And some of my time is spent preparing teaching materials and working on code carters and demos. I love doing all of these things. So perhaps you work in an organization where you're ambitious to encourage better technical practices and you'd like to try doing some technical coaching, but you're not sure how to get started. So first, perhaps I should explain how I got started with this. My background is as a software developer these past 25 years or so. And I was lucky to be an early adopter of test-driven development and refactoring. And as part of mastering those skills, I worked my way through a lot of code carters at conferences and developer events and trainings, as well as trying to apply all those skills in my daily work in production code. At the same time, I was trying to encourage the people around me to adopt TDD with mixed results. It's not very easy to coach people when you've never done it before. But I persevered and actually I put in quite a lot of time in evenings and weekends leading coding dojos and, and code retreats. Over time I got better at it and I grew more senior in my day job and I started getting roles as like architect or, or staff engineer. I continued to work on improving developer skills and, and developer experience but more indirectly through building continuous delivery pipelines and better acceptance test frameworks. Eventually, I got my lucky break and was able to get back to more of a coaching role. Llewellyn Falco invited me to pair coach with him at his client in the United States. So we worked together with several teams at the client and it turned out to be a real win-win scenario. I learned loads about the practicalities of doing technical coaching from Llewellyn. And part of the time, of course, I was supporting him by leading some of the coaching sessions. And the developers at the client got access to both of our expertise during the assignment. And what we were doing really seemed to be working. I found it very interesting and rewarding work too. So when I returned to Sweden, I set about trying to find a similar coaching assignment closer to home. And I was lucky. A former colleague of mine took a chance on me. He was a manager by this time with several development teams in a large organization. And I persuaded him to let me have a pretty free hand to do technical coaching with those teams. And my business just grew from there. Eventually, I felt confident to write a book describing the coaching method that I use and name it Saman. And now I actually need a community of coaches. I don't think anyone would want to copy exactly how I got into this business, but let's talk about what's practical for ordinary developers, perhaps someone like you. Now, I'm sure you know that pair programming is a great way to learn coding skills and get work done at the same time. And pair coaching is effective in a very similar way. So these days, I invite less experienced coaches to join me at my clients, or I will pair with an aspiring coach from the client. Like I say, this is a win-win scenario for everyone. The main drawback, though, is that it doesn't scale very well. There's only a handful of people each year that I can manage to pair with. And it has to be people who I trust and want to work with. 
For the client, it also needs quite a big budget to bring in an external coach like me. If you've already reached a fairly senior position as a technical leader in your organization, you might be able to get started with coaching in another way. The step could be fairly straightforward since it's already part of your job to improve the situation for ordinary developers and to encourage better code quality and, and developer skills. The Saman method for technical coaching doesn't need to be done full time. You could perhaps take the liberty of allocating a few days each month to running ensemble sessions with teams, hosting learning hours. A lot of the most successful coaches that I know are actually full-time employees in a larger organization, and they've moved from an architect role into a technical coaching role through a part-time transition. So you might not need to get permission from anyone to get started, particularly if you are a bit senior. Perhaps the key though, is that you yourself are comfortable with all the technical skills that you're trying to teach and coach. These are hands-on coding skills around design and tests and, and refactoring. Some architects have not written much code for a long time and may find the transition difficult for that reason. Another starting point is when you're just an ordinary developer writing code full-time in a team. And I'm particularly interested in how to help people in that position into a part-time technical coaching role because there are lots of developers out there who actually have all these good technical skills with design and unit testing and, and all of that. And the step to coaching then is more a case of people skills and getting permission to do it. So let's talk about people skills, because to be a coach, you need to be able to facilitate a meeting, give a presentation, do a coding demo, organize people into pairs to do an exercise debrief an exercise, gather conclusions. Now, normally developers don't do those things as part of their job, but they are eminently learnable skills. It's the same kinds of skills you need to become a, a scrum master. And I know a lot of developers who've made that transition very successfully. There is training and support available, not least through the Saman Society. We have online trainings for aspiring the other part of transitioning from full-time software developer to part-time coach is getting a mandate to spend time on that. You'll want to prepare trainings and lead coaching sessions. Ideally, you'd have a really understanding boss who you could just go and talk to and explain the advantages, and hopefully they would let you work on this kind of thing some of your time. See if you can get permission to set up a learning hour. Teaching and facilitating is always easier with a smaller group, so just begin with only your team, people you know. Get some experience doing code carters and exercises with them before you try and expand and invite the whole department. There are lots of ideas and resources you can draw on to organize this kind of team learning session on the Saman Coaching website. I'm actually working on new ways to provide even better support to developers in this position using videos and other materials. And if you'd like to find out more about that, you could sign up for the Saman Society newsletter or join my Patreon. Technical coaching is fundamentally a rewarding career that lets you stay close to the code and make a bigger difference in your organization than you perhaps would as an individual contributor on a team. It is the best way I know to improve developer skills, raise code quality, and have fun at work. Happy coding.